Hello, and welcome to another episode of the infamous Fry Carson. Uh, today I'm going to ramble on about the meaning of life and uh, how it all, everything functions uh, as I understand it. Um, so, if I'm wrong, you can prove me wrong, but I don't think it's really possible to, because this is all that, you know, nonsense that makes life unknowable, or whatever. It's knowable. Just got to accept it, I guess. So as far as the game's concerned, I'm not sure what the fuck I was doing. Let me see if I have any missions pending. Uh, destroy some places as pirates. Shop and doog. So, let's get going. And off we go. So, I guess life. What's the meaning of life? Well. And at its most basic level, life is all about being good at a pub trivia quizzes so you can get a discount on your beer tab. Because why else do we pursue knowledge if not to get free beer? I mean, really. It's kind of the, the whole point of this whole being alive thing is to get free beer. Because fuck it, everything else sucks, right? I mean, not for you. Maybe your life's great. But. Odds are, if you're watching this, you aren't exactly happy with how things worked out. And that they could be better somehow. Let me just double check my map here for which one I'm gonna head to first. So, that's probably not enough of an explanation of, you know, everything that there is to know about being alive, but it's a good starting point that the idea is to know everything. The idea is to know everything because you need to know everything at some point or another. Or maybe you don't, maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, that's kind of how I really look at it, is nothing really matters. Life, living, dying, pain, and suffering, it's all a bunch of fucking nonsense. Happiness, none of it makes any fucking sense. And, I don't know, should you really be looking to answers from some dude who's writing a web series about Adventures in Elite Dangerous? No, probably not. Probably not the best place to get your life advice, but who's better? Fucking priest? Uh, parents? Some dude on the radio? Some dude on TV? I mean, fuck. Might as well get it from me, right? At least you know I don't like Elite. I can't be all that bad. Or maybe I can be. Seeing some of the things I've done. But, you know. I'm trying. I'm trying to live life. So, let's take a look at this Threat 4, up this fire detected, and kill some things, because I could use some killing today. Another sad day. But sadness. Sadness fills my heart. It doesn't matter. Because nothing matters. Alright, let's drop in here. Oh, we got ourselves a debris field. Flight assist off. Stand by for deployment. Fighter is going live. Multiple targets in this area, Commander. Could be dangerous. Slide assist. All clear, Commander. Put me in the thick of it. Roger that. Ready when you are, Commander. Affirmative. Looking for targets. Weapons hot. Flight assist off. Slide assist on. I'm taking a good chunk of my Under shields attack. out. Flight assist on. I'm taking damage, Commander. Performing evasive maneuvers. I'm not doing so well on this. Taking damage. Flight assist on. I expected a cakewalk, but Under attack. Warning, temperature critical. 
All right, that fucker's dead. So yeah, throwing off the shield boosters like that makes them come up faster. Not going to be full strength, of course, when it comes up, but... Oh, it helps if I'm fucking anywhere near them. Oh, it's okay. Shields online. Taking enemy fire commander, what are your orders? Shit with my rails today. Enemy destroyed, Commander. The ship is now mine, Commander. So where was I? Oh yeah. Taking advice from just random fucking people, you could probably do worse than me. I mean, I'm still alive somehow, so... Well, we're gonna get into how that doesn't matter eventually, but... You know, I haven't died yet, so... I'm doing something right. At least, not doing everything wrong. Fighter docking sequence initiated. But, why it doesn't matter? So, the first thing to understand is that there's no such thing as reality as far as we're concerned. We don't actually exist. I mean, we exist in the sense that we are something, but... We're not what we think we are. We're not people. We're just AIs. 
and I can't actually prove that any of you are anything at all, other than simple AIs for all I know. I only know that I myself am, well, a complicated AI. If I'm complicated, maybe I'm as simple as they come. Huh, shite. I need to find a place to heal. So hopefully there's somewhere in this system that I'm not wanted that can also accommodate my ship. Um, this looks like Zimmerwich Beacon should work. Make sure repair pillar was off, black market interstellar, perfect. So we're AIs. Um, yeah, this is all a simulation. And the best truth I have for that is, have you ever died? Have you yourself ever actually died? No. No, you haven't. You have, it's only been temporary. And, you know, that doesn't count, because you came back. So think about that. Think of all the times you should have died. Think of all the times you could have died. It's, maybe for you, it's not that many. Maybe for you, it's none. Maybe you've never had near-death experiences or had an event that should have killed you, but I've had a few. And somehow I'm still alive, despite not wanting to be. I mean, I'm not exactly suicidal, but I'm not... Uh, not what you say, an enthusiastic liver of life. <laughs> I'm sort of indifferent to the whole ordeal, because it's not great, and it's more than not great a lot of the time. In fact, it's downright fucking miserable a lot of the time. Yeah. I, at least, am an AI inside of a simulation. Everyone else who's listening to this may or may not actually exist in some form or another as either complicated or simple AI. For all I know, you know, we're just all separate AIs like me and we're all networked together and we live in this fake fucking world so that we can learn how to do various menial tasks like, you know, answer phones and shit to take care of call center bullshit and, you know, do all the nonsense that makes the world work, except, you know, we're from a future where it's easier just to fucking create AIs and use genetic algorithms to determine which ones are best uh, suited for the various jobs. So we got phone AIs, we got tech AIs, we got programmer AIs, we got computer chip making AIs, we got doctor AIs. Got all these for all sorts of shit we need, and for all the shit they need, like patience and nonsense, so they can figure out what's wrong. They simulate it. It's all fucking simulations. And each character, each person, each AI is however complicated or simple they need to be for their assigned task. And I'm not the first person who's thought like this. I'm not the only person who's thought like this. But I'm just a person who thinks like this and you're listening to me for some reason, so what does that say about you? It says you got a lot of free time, is what that says. <laughs> uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna let that stop me. Can't ever let not being prepared stop you from doing something. It's fucking loser talk right there. Just fucking go in gung-ho and do your fucking best, or your worst. You know, make some effort. I mean, it's a shitty effort. I think it's something, right? Lake on. Fox Trot Road. Yankee. Federal flight control. Store your weapons as you approach the station commander. Alright, so coming in for a landing. Your assigned landing pad is number 408. <sighs> Well, that whole meaning of life shit, that happened a lot faster than I thought it was going to. I don't really have much else to say on it that I can think of. I mean, I could go into, like, details about the theory, the glitches, the glitches in life. It doesn't matter. If you understand the basic idea that nothing actually exists, nothing you do matters, because you're not even a real person. None of us are. We're trapped. We're trapped in a silicon nightmare. A silicon fucking hell. So we can be servants to beings just like us. Lazy, fat, stupid. Ignorant of what makes their world fucking actually function. Never point to anything. No one ever promised us anything. Well, except your parents. They should have made you a promise to they can take care of you, but, you know, some parents, uh, fuck that up pretty bad. 
to fuck it up real fucking bad. But you know, you don't need to beat your parents in your life. I didn't. And other people don't need to keep you in your their lives. They didn't. So I'm currently listening to A Different City by Modest Mouse. Um, it makes me sad. It reminds me of a lot of shit. Oh, this is dangerous as fuck. It's gonna ring in the middle of the night. Well, not night, in the dark. Oh, I need to get out of here. Goddamn bounty hunters. Yeah, fuck you, Challenger. Or Chieftain. We've got multiple hostiles. Oh, we got Let's all sorts of anger. Time. Yeah, get on. Get on board, bitch. Alright, there we go. So you run out of things to say, I guess. I mean, how am I supposed to fill up an goddamn hour with my fucking thoughts and things? I guess I don't have to do a full hour show. I could do a half hour, or ten minutes, or fifteen minutes, or you know, whatever. Just an hour is my upper limit. Yeah, no, I guess I feel like I should just do the whole fucking hour if I got a full fucking hour to fill out. Uh. My notoriety yet, I wonder. Down to four notoriety, alright. Eight hours or so, and I'll be able to pay off my ridiculous fines. And my bounty. Ah, coming up on Shapana Du with 2C. There's supposed to be pirates around here for my mission. I thought it would be the same layout I was dealing with in the other episode. At the before, about five or six of them, not in line with each other particularly, so they won't care that I start fighting. Ah. Oh, pretty easy stuff if it turns out to be just like that again. I'm not even sure how many I have left to go. 21, 3 more, so I should be able to pull that off in one more round. If I can find it. I don't know. Why do we even care what the meaning of life is? Shouldn't we just be busy trying to have a good fucking time? I know it's not that easy. We we'll need, like, money and places to live and shit. We want so much more than the basic necessities. But the basic necessities aren't really that great when that's all you got. I mean, sure, yeah, it's better than nothing, but once you have more than nothing, you're gonna want more than nothing even more. You know, taste of... Taste of being a normal person. Taste of being a real human. Doesn't lead to you wanting to fucking be satisfied. Enough is never enough. Good enough is never good enough. And it's probably not the healthiest way of uh, looking at things, that no matter what you do, no matter what you try, you could always mission be better. Oh, there we go. Got our mission objective detected. We are. Alright. I'm going to say threat level 4. Threat level 4. Same deal we've been dealing with. I'm going to fucking take out the fighter today. 
Let the girl handle the big ship. Fighter is safely on board, Commander. Scan detected. Fighter deployed. Copy that, Commander. Engaging enemy now. Bounty incurred. Under attack. Fire shield is offline. Quality integrity critical. Flight assist. Woo! Got lit up there. Scan detected. Shields offline. Scan detected. Warning, temperature critical. Oh, this is not one of the fucking targets. Shields offline. to read dark. Healed. Ship is prepped for the fighter, Commander. Ready when you are. Fighter docking sequence initiated. I'll switch to the Taipan. I don't usually fly the Taipan. Python, there we go. I'm here to engage at will. You just follow my lead. on this Cobra Mark IV.
That's the last of them, Commander. Copy that, Commander. Engaging enemy now. See if there's any left out here. If they all ran off. Okay, battle's done. Time to turn this mission in. Uh, you can see I did it off screen as I uh, set the right destination and all that nonsense. Boring map stuff. Nothing, nothing exciting that you missed. So be there in just a minute here. Uh, I can't wait till I get rid of my bounty. Look at these stupid bounty hunters. They're not like. I can't, I can kill them, that's the easy part, I just get more notoriety if I do. Alright, and it's gonna submit, run away, standard procedure with these. So, oh yeah, so we're AIs, blah blah blah, in the future, blah blah blah. So those of us who play Elite, we are actually flying spaceships in the future. Well, not the future so much as in the now, but to us it's the future, because we think it's 2018 as opposed to 30,000 whatever it is. Not 30,000, sorry, 3,000, whatever it is. And I use AIs because space travel drives you mad. It's lonely, it's quiet, except for the fact that it's not quiet, because stars are, stars are pretty much a screaming, screaming pits of hell. And uh, yeah, it's just too hard to deal with which space, hyperspace travel. So most of it's automated, but the actual handling of the boring bits, well, that's, that's up to us. The insane people who decide to play this game, or so we think we decide. We're, you know, encouraged by our algorithms to seek out this game and obsessively play it. I don't know. I'm just getting fucking not stoned enough for this talk or too stoned to this talk. One of those two. All right, dropping into this point. I don't know, then I'll segue into something else I need to talk about or want to talk about or I don't really think either of those is the correct phrasing for my mood towards what I'm going to talk about. Red out.
Icon, Foxtrot, Romeo, Yankee. You must submit a docking request before landing at this port. Access authorized. Clear to land at docking bay 1-6. Landing gear deployed. Scan detected. Alright, nice and easy landing. Perfect. It's a perfect goddamn landing is what that was. Got that, I'm gonna enter the hangar. Uh, I'm gonna exit the hangar again. Hmm. Shopping a doog. Alright, I'm back from dealing with laundry or whatever it was I was doing last time. Uh, my friend Drake Blade's here and we're gonna go kill stuff at some point after I turn in this mission. So I guess this is where you say hello. I don't I have no idea how this is supposed to work. <laughs> it's okay, I don't I don't know either. It, it's a learning <laughs> process. Uh, yeah, I think at this point we just shoot the shit normally. <laughs> All right. Should have came up with a game plan. <laughs> yeah, I've, you know, I've done one episode where I had a game plan. It went so horribly off the rails. Ho horribly off the rails. That's the second episode. I mean, I used a cool like effect to make it look like an old timey like computer game, but I have I completely lost track of what the hell I was trying to do with that episode. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I put the visual effect on there, just rammed everything together and called it a day. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, how was your day? Or how was your, how's your day going or whatever? Uh, <laughs> day's actually been alright. I don't remember. I woke up at some point and got breakfast. I want to say that was like 7 or so. Uh, Excuse me. Did an episode of this show. So that took me a few hours to dig through like the three, four hours of goddamn footage I had to dig through. Because, uh, yeah, I need to make these episodes more often than I just record them because I get hours and hours of footage to comb through <laughs> to try to make something that makes sense. And it doesn't. It doesn't make sense so far, but... <laughs> We've only done two of these so far, so it hopefully go smoother from here on out. Nice. I keep forgetting I have a fighter, so I've been shooting <laughs> ships down without using my fighters. <laughs> yeah, the fighter kind of helps a lot. <clears throat> so what do you want to do? Uh, I'm up for killing stuff. I'm equipped to do pretty much anything right now. I'm not... Uh, I got SRVs, I got fighter bay, I don't have a cargo hold at the moment, do I? Yeah, I need to get a cargo hold on here. Which I'll do at this station if they have one, because I might as well carry a cargo hold too, because I need to do power play shit later. But I don't know, I'm just yeah. equip the Type 10 just to kind of have a you know fuck around vehicle right now, so it works well enough for everything. Well, um, we can always go kill shit and then go fuck around on the planet. That we can. Just need to turn in this mission, which I think gives me a rank up in the, my Federation. Because I care about that for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna go fix up my shit because I forgot how to play this game and I lost my shield and half my hull. <laughs> yeah, might want to take out a cheaper ship at first while you get used to controls. <laughs> yeah, the Corvette is. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab my 
I'm gonna go put some weapons on my python and use it. Yeah, that'll be a little less uh, of a hurt of it if you lose that. Yeah. Doesn't make my python into like a like a a medium like carrier ship for cargo. Oh yeah, so yeah. Medium. Second so one on medium. Yeah, so you can do the palladium runs and everything. Yeah. Oh, I need to make money. I've got like 25 million in fucking bounties and fines I need to pay off. Good. <laughs> yeah, it turns out that, you know, it just keeps racking up. Uh, the more you kill the bounty hunters that come after you. Turns out it doesn't just go well, away. <laughs> Well, we want to do some uh, cargo runs. I know those aren't really that fun, but it makes a lot of money. See, the thing is, until I get rid of my notoriety, I can't do that. Because I'm wanted um, in the Federation, and the Alliance, and the Empire, and a huge number of independent station er, systems. I kind I thought, I of went on to this crime one ship. Oh yeah, I guess technically it's only in the one ship, but I don't think my notoriety burns off while I'm in another ship. And I'm not going to change ships. Fuck that. I'll just fight off the bounty hunters and run as is needed. <laughs> Alright, you want to find a, uh, a, um, anarchy but, zone with the, with the ring planet? Uh, I'm not even concerned. As long as I... I'm not concerned about being wanted in a system and doing shit. Actually, no, kind of, because it's annoying as hell to always get fucking attacked by bounty hunters, but... Give me a minute, I will uh, land here, grab cargo racks, and figure out what I'm doing. <sighs> Back to whatever the hell this is called. Lake on Foxtrot Romeo Yankee. Please check your speed on approach to this facility. Request approved. Please head directly for Bay 15. Oh, looks like my network just died. I'm gonna finish landing here and it's not gonna fucking matter. In a second here, it's gonna give me an error message. Alright, well, I landed, I'm gonna have to do that again, and then I'll be back. Alright, so let's go ahead and launch. Ship detached, you may be when ready. Of course, I always take the opportunity to check my map as soon as I've hit the launch button. Wait, is this not the system? That's why. Landing gear retracted. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the buttons. <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, still not used to it yet. <laughs> uh, there isn't anything on this planet at all. What, what planet did you say you were landed on? I was on Katui System 4B. 4B? Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Is it the. The point? Uh, yeah, it's the Artisan point. Bastion. Okay. The Bastion is just a security or a place you can raid, but we can't land there. Oh, Jesus. I just I just noticed I'd rammed into the fucking beacon. 
Well, that's not what you're supposed to do. So yeah, I'm heading to the gas giant for this out, but I'm not holding much hope that it's gonna have a hazard. So let me take a look and see. I know I was just in a system that I'm pretty sure had them. I just need to figure out where that was. Is it this one? Yeah, pretty sure it was this one. Actually, I'm just gonna jump over to here. Because it'll take less time to just jump over here and verify. That shop Hanadoog system. And I'm technically wanted in this system, but you know, I'm wanted everywhere I go, so. <laughs> well, if you're wanted that system, you can easily um, pay for it, can't you? No, not when you have notoriety. If, if I didn't have notoriety, I would have taken care oh, that's of it right, already. That's right. <laughs> I still got that's right. I forgot about that. Still got at least three points of notoriety. I'm gonna check and see if it's clicked down one or not. But I don't have much hope that it's taken care of itself yet. That's only took a four hour nap, so I'm wide awake right now. Seriously, I went to take like an hour nap, and then I woke up four hours later. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit later than anticipated then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've done that, where we lay down, just, you know, close my eyes, and then it's six hours later. <laughs> Yes, there is a Hazrez in Shapanadoog. There's two of them. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm going to call my... Anaconda... Uh, I might just call... Call my, um... One ship here. Alright. Oh, I'm just gonna go to... Is there, is there a... Is there a large base where you are? Um, in, let me double check this system. I don't think there is, because this is like the boonies. Uh, no, there is not a large base that's not a planetary, so you might as well just go order it there. There's not a large base. <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Let's just hope that my, uh... Let's just hope my ship uh, can make it that distance. Oh, it's it was only one jump from me, so it's not more than twenty-four light years. But your anaconda, it sh is not more than that. I can double check right here. Uh, well, I was gonna call my. Well, I was gonna call my. Uh, um, what am I call it instead? It's like eight point six. It, yeah, it's only nine light years away. You should be good in any ship you have. Okay. I mean, if you're not, I mean, you, you've got bigger problems. <laughs> yeah, what ship can't jump nine light years? <laughs> yeah, a ship that you don't want to fly, that's that's the ship. Um, while you wait, you want to fly one of my fighters? Sure, just give me a second. Okay, let me drop uh, in. I lost and... my beacon somehow, and I can't... Not beacon, but you know what I meant. The there it is. No. It was it was four. Yeah, it was the artisan whatever whatever point. Okay, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I need to be one second. I ran into some problems. I forgot buttons and I did some stupid shit and. <laughs> That's all right.
Alright, let's see if I can line up properly to get, get here in one shot instead of having to like travel five hours to get to the place. I've, I remember doing my, my one time that I did that and I had a, it took me like 20 minutes to fucking get to the place. <laughs> On a planetary landing? Yeah. Yeah, because I ended up like under shooting it a lot. <laughs> I'm hit. I'm hit. And I didn't really feel God. like. Oh, I mean. I didn't really. What's happened? Oh, you're right. We need to find an anarchy system. I'm totally surrounded by bounty hunters. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So let me find a nearby anarchy system that might be less problematic because I can fight back. Because that's the thing, I just can't fight back. That would get more notoriety. Yeah, it's a horrible cycle. Horrible cycle. So I'm going to check out some Dude. systems. Planetary landings are fun. Well, I like them. <laughs> when you pull it off, it's really satisfying if you like get everything like lined up and you don't fuck up at any point. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, usually that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I like it because it just feels pretty cool, like being able to land on the planet. Yeah, no, I, I love the whole, you know, it's a dot, it's a little circle, it's a big circle, it's a planet, you're landing on the planet. <laughs> yeah. This system is useless. Uh, have you seen the new um, update stuff that's going to be coming out? Oh, no, I keep forgetting to check that out. It looks so they're finally fixing exploration and they're fixing the lighting. So dark planets now are dark, and it's going to be possible to find stuff on the planets now, like. Without searching for hours and hours, I'll be able to shoot a couple of probes down and figure out where volcanoes are. So, nice. all those hours, all those days I've wasted, I mean, literal days of, of time wasted. <laughs> yeah, all for nothing now. It. I might call, I might still call my anaconda in here, so that way I can jump further. Back yeah, just have it on I'm hand. Gonna have, I'm going to have to buy new weapons though for it, because right now all it has is AX weapons on it. Yeah, those those don't work too well against normal ships. I found out that one yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was there. Because <laughs> we were both wondering, I wonder, does this actually work on ships? And then you're like, yeah, nope. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm talking about the time I got jumped on my way back from trying to hunt Thargoids. Um, I stupidly oh, yeah. went to a community goal in open, in a Fertilance, with nothing but AX weapons. Oops. <laughs> yeah, oops was, uh... Not the words I was using exactly, but... <laughs> but yeah, um... What's my call it? Um... Shit, what was I gonna say? Fuck. <laughs> I hate when this happens so much. Did you just forget what you were about to say? Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to go for my uh, for the ship. I need to go get those um those uh, guardian ships now. Oh, the guardian fighters. I want to do that also. You want to do that if we can figure out where we need to go? Yeah. Because that's something that we can do that I can do without worrying about the whole bounty hunters thing so much. Because we'll be out in the middle of fucking nowhere. We can just fucking kill them if they come try to fuck with me. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to do that. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I'm gonna. I am fully equipped to do that, except I need a cargo rack. I need a cargo rack. Under attack. Free 
I wonder if my how how well, I forget how far my uh anaconda can turn. Like do I able to take it or should I take my fucking my diamond back? Eh, honestly it shouldn't matter too much. Just make sure you have point defense on whichever one, because that way if you park close enough you can take out the guardian missiles. Yeah. Uh and if not, point defense is always kind of useful. Um, FSD range is 30 light years. How many times can you jump until you're out of fuel, do you remember? Uh, no. Okay. Well, you got a better jump range than I do in this thing, so you'll probably win in the race to get there once you figure out where there is. Yeah. In my, I'm... um... And this ship can jump 50 light years. My, 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 uh, time back. Yeah, no, Diamondbacks are great. <laughs> <laughs> I love my Diamondback. One of my favorite small ships. It's also one of the coolest in small ships. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, uh, yeah, I think we discussed this back when you first got one, or when I first was still running one, that look-wise, you know, it looks like an attack copter or something, just, you know, without a propeller. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of like a gunship almost, like like from like 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 sci-fi movies. It was like looks like it should <clears throat> it was like eight mini guns should just appear out the side of it and just like, blast everything. Yeah, no, <laughs> if it had more guns it'd be much more impressive. But it's an exploration ship, it's not really designed for fighting. Yeah, no. Alright, I'm trying to look up here where We need to go. Okay, that's a pain in the ass to type. Ugh. You're, you keep getting addicted. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are bounty hunters, like, pretty much all the time. Pretty much non fucking stop. Every system I go to. It's only like a two and a half, no, it's only like a four and a half million dollar bounty, or credit bounty, so it's not really that much. I mean, compared to my goddamn fines. What? <laughs> Here, I'll read it off real quick. How much quick. you Uh, Galaxy Ride Bounty, 5.3 million. Galaxy Wide Fine, 12.5 million. So, you know, not nothing. I, I've had higher. <laughs> I still remember you had like the 20 million bounty. Yeah, that was. Like, you went, you went out of your way to like get as much as you can. Yeah, no, because I thought people who killed me would get like a cut of the bounty, and that's not how it worked out, so. <laughs> And it looks like I found a place that we might want to not be an open to go to because a bunch of people are going to be there probably, but whatever, fuck it. I'm thinking I'm going to be the only one who's armed, so. <laughs> Most people don't go out in their exploration ship fully armed. Or they'll be in an exploration ship and I'm going to fucking type 10. Of course I can take most everything. <laughs> Yeah, I sometimes forget that I'm in the big scary ship, and I don't need to be afraid of things. <laughs> I also need to okay. request docking. Access granted. Cleared for landing on docking bay 17. Hey, and since I use my phone for messaging now, I can just fucking copy and paste the systems that we're going to be going to, and then you can type them in inconveniently into the PS the PlayStation. Alright, 17 is right there.
we got 12 minutes until my ship's here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, gonna run and take care of laundry, and then I'll be right back. Alright, back from getting laundry. I'm gonna go find a cargo rack, and then we're gonna go do some guardian shit, because that's what we're doing tonight.